Hey there, welcome to this Yoga for Cricket session. Thank you for joining. Um, if you are a bowler and you're looking for some mobility into the shoulders, maybe ease some lower back pain, this one should be for you. If you're a batsman looking for a bit of a stronger core, this also uh, should be suitable. Um, I know you're standing in the field for quite a long time, so legs, we're going to think about strengthening, and we're going to think about stretching, um, as well as dabbling with a little bit of kind of mindful movement just to improve focus, concentration, uh, channel a bit of uh, meditative vibe just to improve your focus in the field um, all you need is a mat let's begin we're gonna start in a seated position um, make yourself comfortable I recommend crossing your legs and um, we'll take a moment just here before we get moving perhaps closing your eyes wherever feels good for you hands on the knees or hands in your lap and go ahead and take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just to ease into it, transition into, uh, into this session from whatever you were doing before. Think about drawing a line under it and stepping away from it. And bringing your focus into this moment. Starting to tune into your body, notice how you're feeling as you, as you sit there. Notice the weight on your legs, your sitting bones, and see if you can feel nice and kind of grounded. And with the eyes closed, you can start to notice the body, notice the pace of it. Hopefully it starts to slow down a little bit. Taking your attention to your breath and starting to follow both the inhale and the exhale with your attention. And I suggest taking at least five or six breaths here, noticing how it feels to breathe. And if you feel that you're breathing kind of quickly, shallow, short breaths, maybe just make an effort to lengthen the inhale. Make sure you're using your diaphragm to breathe in and then lengthen the exhale as well. Take your time with it. And just ensure that before we get moving, your breath is soft and slow and your body feels nice and calm. And without further ado, you can gently blink open your eyes. Let's take the uh, right hand to the left knee and we'll head straight into a twist from here. You can take your left hand behind you. It might take a little bit of shuffling around to get into it. And take the gaze over your left shoulder. And we'll stay here for a little bit. Think about inhaling to puff up the chest, lengthen the uh, spine, lift the crown of your head. And as you exhale, take the gaze over your left shoulder. And gently come out of it, taking your left hand to your right knee. Right hand goes behind you. Again, maybe adjustments might need to do a shuffle, shuffle around or two. And then breathe in to find some height. And then breathe out to deepen your twist. Couple more times, breathing slowly and softly. Gently coming out of it, lifting your right arm up towards the ceiling. Let's take the left hand down by our side. You might want to drop the left forearm down and we'll take a restorative side bend, stretching out the uh, entire right side of your upper body. Relax your face and then come on over. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So right hand down, left arm up and over. before coming back to center. And let's make our way towards our all fours. We'll come onto our hands on our knees. And we're gonna take a few cat-cow poses just to kind of loosen out your spine. Again, thinking about um, back tension. Great one just to release any. You can take a breath in to soften your belly down towards the ground, open out your chest, gaze forwards. With the exhale, draw your chin back in towards your chest and round your back. Breathe in, think about sticking your bum in the air as you broaden your collarbones. And then breathe out as you draw chin back in again. And find space between your shoulder blades. A few more times, move with your breath. Inhale, open out. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch your back. And then exhale, round it again. You can do this as many times as you want. Maybe you're going a little bit more freestyle thinking about shaking or kind of drawing some circles with the bum and the hips. Movement into the uh, shoulders, maybe bending your elbows. 
maybe even moving your head and your neck whatever feels good for you before parking up your bum onto your heels and um, we'll continue we'll not continue we're going to start to get into the shoulders by interlocking fingers behind us and just allow your chest to kind of softly uh, fold onto your thighs and then forehead down onto the ground rabbit pose lifting your arms up above above your head take as long as you need with it think about being quite active you can really sweep your arms your hands up and over Maybe even rolling onto the crown of your head and rolling onto your toes as well. You can go a little bit deeper into it there. Before coming out of it slowly and relaxing your bum onto your heels, let's shake out the hands. Get some blood flow going to your fingertips. And then extend your arms out in front of you. We'll start to um, kind of warm up the wrists and the fingers by opening and closing the hands. We're doing it like 15, 20 times. Get some forearm strength. And take the arms out to the sides. Do the same thing here. See if you can keep the focus. Keep opening and closing them nice and widely, quickly. And then last time, arms up above. I'm fully aware catches win matches. You want those strong hands. <laughs> also preparing for the next uh, 20 minutes on the mat getting your hands ready. Shake it out, maybe interlock fingers and start to trace the figure of eight with your wrists, your fists. And then without further ado, we'll take the hands onto the ground and then lift up into our downward facing dog. You can lift your hips very high. Suck in your tummy. And think about upside down triangle with your body. Relax your head, your face. And maybe go ahead and pedal the feet out can start to bring some warmth into the muscles and the backs of your legs maybe going slow with it or going quickly just kind of noticing how your legs are feeling move into a place that feels good for you um, we'll continue to move by walking our feet towards our hands or so coming to the front of the mat and bend your knees quite a lot to help We'll enjoy a standing forward fold at the front of our mat. So knees bent, chest onto thighs. Maybe go ahead and drop your crown of the head as far down as you can go. Could grab hold of opposite elbows, take a swing, ragdoll pose. Finding that space in your back, lengthening spine. Again, just hopefully releasing a little bit of tension in the back. Relax your hands down and we'll slowly uncurl, we'll come to a standing pose. Try and lift your head up last if you can. And we'll take the hands onto the lower back here, so fingers on the bum, continuing to focus on the back. Slight bend in your knees, push the hips forwards, open out your chest fully, standing back bend. Maybe looking up towards the ceiling, maybe even looking behind you if your neck feels okay. Don't forget to breathe before coming back to a standing pose. Hands to heart. We'll take the left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Take it nice and slowly. I want you to keep your right foot forwards, 12 o'clock, and we'll bend the knee coming into our warrior two. So arms go wide. Might be worth looking at your feet and lining up the heel of your right foot with the arch of your left foot. And go really kind of deep into the hips here so the right thigh is almost parallel to the ground. Look over your right hand, let's flip the palm and we'll reverse our warrior. So left hand, left thigh, right arm high. Try and keep your right knee where it was, so directly on top of your ankle. Maybe look up towards your right hand, make sure your arm is straight. And enjoy the stretch for your muscles in between your ribs here. Look up towards your uh, right hand. When you're ready to release, let's cartwheel our arms down to the ground. And we'll step back to a plank pose. Shoulders above the wrists, kick your heels away from you, look forwards, breathe. And when you're good to release, let's drop the knees to chest to chin and enjoy a cobra by lifting the chest up off the ground. Again, great one for the lower back. Take your time here. You may even want to roll the shoulders out. Look left, look right. Just easing into it. And then push back to your uh, downward facing dog. Take your time. And then we'll slowly walk towards the front of the mat again, so similar moves, exactly the same thing as we did uh, previously. Gently uncurl, come standing tall, 
Let's find that back bend again. So spring in the knees, open out your chest, look high or behind you. And then stand tall again. We'll lift the arms up above the head, grabbing your right wrist with your left fingers. Enjoy a little side bend over towards the left. Again, finding that space, side of the upper body. And then coming back up, doing the same thing over to the other side. And as you return to centre, hands to heart, and let's float the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Again, line up your feet. Let's bring the left knee above the left ankle, go deep into it, and then arms, extend them away from each other, try and find symmetry in them, relax your shoulders. Flip the palm of the left hand, and then reach high and reverse your warrior here. So you've got really kind of strong quads here, left side, nice deep stretch inside the right leg. Look up towards your left hand, and then move with your exhales, or cartwheel down, and step back to our plank. Drop your knees, relax the tops of your feet, lower your chest and your chin, enjoy a cobra. So both hands and feet are pressing down as you lift your chest, broaden your collarbones, and then push back, downward facing dog. Taking a moment to think about your alignment in your downward dog, have a look at your hands, make sure the fingers are really wide. That fleshy part of your thumbs or the base of your thumbs, make sure you're pressing down quite hard on them. Sweep your elbows in towards each other, create some space between your shoulder blades, and relax your face, look towards your shins. Reconnect with the breath here, long inhale and a long exhale. Before lifting your right leg up towards the ceiling, let's take the gaze forwards and step in between the hands. If the foot doesn't make it, just shuffle your foot forwards and then lift the arms up into a high lunge. We'll open it out straight away into a warrior two. Again, notice the position of the feet. We're gonna straighten the right leg, point toes towards the long left side. One more side bend, so left hand, left thigh, right arm up and over, and then same thing on the other side. I think batsmen and bowlers will both benefit from this kind of length in the uh, side of your upper body. When you're ready, forward fold from here, point toes in towards each other, softly bend your knees. Relax the head, drop your head down as low as you can go. Maybe bend your knees quite a lot to help. And then swivel, let's face the front of the mat. We're gonna frame our right foot with our hands and find a bit of balancing in a warrior three. So we'll step onto the right foot, lifting the left leg behind us. Feel free to stay here, you can keep the fingertips on the ground for support. Making sure all four corners of your right foot pressing down equally on them. Uh, if you wanna take it further, hands to heart. Lift your upper body nice and high. Kind of capital T position. You want your collarbones to be very broad here, so it's a bit of a chest opener. Keep your gaze steady, so think about locking it into something. Breathe slowly. Thinking about improving your focus, your concentration. Ideal for those hours spent out in the field. Could take it a little bit further by reaching along with your arms before lowering your hands and then stepping to the back of the mat with your left foot and your right foot and then enjoying a vinyasa, knees, chest, chin all the way down. Inhale Cobra, exhale down dog. Let's do the same thing on the left side. So we'll lift the left leg and step in between the hands. See if you can do it really kind of lightly and softly, almost inaudible. Lift the arms up above the head, squeeze your core, engage it, and then open it out. So open your arms out to your warrior two, where we will straighten our left leg. We will point our toes towards the right side and then enjoy that side bend. Both arms sweeping up and over. Try and keep your chest flat as you do this rather than folding to the ground. And come back up to a T, point your toes in and then hold on, head on down with the forward fold. Now this time we're gonna take a little twist here. Right hand goes down underneath the face, twist to the left, open your chest, and then lift your left arm high. Look up towards your left hand, enjoy a breath or two there. We want our spine to be long. And then do the same thing on the other side, so left hand down and then right hand up. I know there's a lot of rotational movement, both in batsmen and bowlers. Hopefully this kind of twisting will be good for keeping your spine in a good place for it, or for that kind of movement. 
before lowering both your hands, swiveling facing the front, and then preparing for your warrior three on this side. So right leg behind us, again, find something to lock your gaze into, maybe on the floor or the wall in front of you. We want our right foot to be flexed. We want our right hip to be drawing down. Uh, maybe a soft bend in the left knee. Good for strong feet and strong ankles, this kind of balancing. And again, focus. Breathe slowly, see if you can uh, stay a little bit longer than usual. Maybe arms go forwards or take them out to the sides this time or behind you. And then as you take your right foot to the back of the mat, see if you can do it with like no sound whatsoever. So float it softly and then lower your hands with control. Fingers wide as they touch the mat, step back to your plank. Now just to create a bit of upper body strength, let's lower the chest to elbow height. Push back up with the inhale. So you want to move down with the exhale and then move back up with the inhale. Two more times. Exhale, go down. Inhale, back up. Exhale, go down. Inhale, back up. Woo. And let's drop the knees, the chest, the chin, relax the tops of your feet before inhaling to a cobra. And then exhaling as you push back to your down dog. Take your time. And we'll walk our feet towards the front of the mat again. As you get there, shuffle your feet wide. We'll take our feet maybe to the kind of edges of the mat, so mat width apart. Point your toes out to the sides. We'll enjoy a yogi squat, malasana pose, knees bend, bum goes down low. Feel free to take a little bit of movement to get a little bit deeper into it. Maybe your hands are on the ground for support. Or maybe your uh, hands can come to heart center. Um, hands in prayer, opening out your legs with the elbows. Great little pose to go deep into the groin, into the hips. And of course, as with a lot of these more kind of still poses, good for focus. So take a moment, lock your gaze into something. See if you can find comfort in the discomfort and stay a little bit longer. Maybe following the breath in and out of your body will definitely help. And when you're good to go, let's take the hands down and we'll drop the bum down. We'll take a seat. <clears throat> Ooh. And then feel free to kind of shake out the legs if you need to. Once you're there, we'll keep the right leg straight. Take the left foot to the right thigh. A little shuffle around towards your right leg. So make sure your shoulders and your torso is facing the right leg. Inhale to lift your arms up real high. Uh, take the gaze high as you exhale fold uh, over right leg so hands on shin maybe hands on foot look over the right toes go ahead and take a couple of deep breaths into whatever you feel on the back of the right leg make sure your left knee is down coming back up let's take the left foot we're going to place it outside of the right knee and enjoy a little twist right elbow all the way up towards the ceiling slide it down the outside of the left knee take the left hand behind us um, ultimately looking over left shoulder but again kind of thinking of spinal health twisting always nice and releasing for it can look over left shoulder a couple of breaths keep your right foot flexed and active and then gently release come out of it slowly we'll do the same thing on the other side so left leg straight right foot place it inside your uh, left thigh Make sure there's a bit of a connection there. So you want the right knee and the right sitting bone to be kind of rooted down to the ground if you can. Arms up with the inhale. Exhale, go down. Chest open. Rather than looking down at your knees, can you look over your toes? Soften face, relax jaw. Come out of it slowly. Let's find our twist on this side. So right foot outside, left knee. Try and make sure the, oh, the whole of the foot is down. So the entirety of the sole of the foot goes down, left hand high, slide hand outside, right knee. Might take a little bit of shuffling around here as well. Soften your belly. Think about lifting your chest, lifting the crown of the head, and then looking over your right shoulder last. And don't forget to breathe slowly and softly before coming out of it slowly and we'll straighten both of our legs. So legs down, front of the mat, 
let's forward fold over both of them breathing in to lift up the arms now I suggest bending your knees quite a lot here with the uh, exhale fold over your legs try and make some connection with your chest and your thighs so bend the knees a hell of a lot to do that you can take the hands onto your uh, legs maybe hands onto feet and ultimately thinking of opening your chest a little bit and gazing over your toes to really try and find space and length in your spine and your back um, rather than worrying about straight legs I think a lot of people worry about any straight legs in this kind of pose once you have found a place where you have as much length as possible in your spine then you can play around with straightening the legs if that is available to you but don't force it wherever you are keep your feet active so point toes to the ceiling almost towards your face and breathe before sweeping your arms out in front of you and then hovering down onto your back so engage your core to help and we'll focus a little bit on the core as we draw to a close back of the head rest it down on the ground rest your arms sweep both legs up towards the ceiling flex feet point toes to face hands together extend your arms towards your feet let's lift up the head so automatically your core is kind of cinching in a little bit feel free to stay here or you can come with me and pulse your fingers up towards your feet for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 keeping your right leg there but lowering your left leg all the way down to the ground arms back up again lift your head stay there or come with me five four three two one switch legs one more time five four three two one and very slowly lower your left leg down to the ground let's take a moment to let those sensations subside before bringing both knees to the chest let's grab hold of the backs of the knees bring your thighs together bring your feet together and we'll roll along the spine and ultimately we're going to head towards our boat pose uh, balancing on the bum but i suggest if you're up for it take as much rolling as you can cover the length of your spine massage things out things being the muscles that run along your spine and then we'll balance on the bum for a boat pose you can kind of take this wherever you want to so maybe keep the hands on the backs of the knees make sure your thighs are together knees are together big toes are together feet flexed shin parallel to the ground could uh, release your arms keep your chest high um, stay there keep your gaze steady it's definitely gonna help or maybe come with me lower yourself straighten out your legs keep your back off the ground and then come all the way back up so you can move with your breath here inhale go down exhale come back up inhale go down exhale come back up we'll do that two more times on the second time or on the last time let's hover and stay there a little bit longer you can pedal out the feet breathe slowly and softly and then come all the way back up Maybe enjoy your boat pose one final time. Channel strength. Breathe in to help that strength. And then lower yourself all the way down. Slower the better. Try not just to slam the body down. Relax the back of the head. Take a moment to let the breath sort of calm down. And before we close, continuing to get into the spine a little bit of the glutes let's bring the left knee to the chest grab hold of the knee with your right hand and we'll extend the left arm out to the left supine twist right hand taking the knee over to the right now you might find that your shoulder in your chest kind of rolls over with the knee if that is the case bring the knee back up to the middle and make sure your left shoulder is kind of rooted down to the ground first and then take the knee just as far as it'll go you can look over to your left hand to increase the twist a little bit nice lengthening out of the glutes on the left side here close your eyes and see if you can completely immerse yourself in how this feels noticing the sensations taking your breath to wherever you feel it just to kind of calm 
ease and soften the tension. Taking your time back onto the back, but straighten out the left leg, grab your thigh or your calf and gently draw the leg in towards your face. Might bring the head up off the ground, could relax shoulders. And then slowly lower. Again, try not to slam the leg down. Let's do the same thing on the other side, take your time. Right knee, left hand's gonna grab it. Sweep your right arm out to the right. And maybe the gaze heads over to your right arm here. Again, a little checky with your right shoulder, make sure it's, it's kind of stuck on the ground. Check back when you move with your breathing, make sure it's soft and slow. Bring a softness to your belly. Come out of it slowly and do the same thing that we did on the other side. So straight right leg, grab the thigh, the calf, draw it in. Maybe you can uh, lift the head up. If you are like me, trying to exert a little bit of pressure, just kind of soften up, relax shoulders, relax the face. And then slowly lower. You can take any last little movements here that feel good for you. Maybe just bringing knees to chest, you can grab hold of the knees or wrap your arms around your legs, grab your elbows, take a little rock or roll across your back. And then ultimately we're going to sprawl the legs out, sprawl the arms out and enjoy a bit of stillness. Finding a Shavasana pose, making the best kind of starfish shape that you can create. Relaxing the back of your head onto the ground, taking a deep breath in through your nose. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Release tension. Maybe a couple more times, however many feels good for you. Softly close your eyes. Relaxing your legs, allowing your feet and your ankles to feel nice and heavy. Just giving them the rest that they deserve. Similarly, letting go of your arms, your hands, shoulders. Relaxing the skin on your face, perhaps parting your teeth, softening your brow. And just letting the breath kind of flow naturally. You can soften your throat and your tummy. Enjoying a stillness for a minute or so. I'm just thinking of stillness both physically and mentally. Just noticing if there are any disruptions mentally, if the mind has wandered off at all, just tuck it back in. Try to stay kind of hyper aware. You can start to focus on how your body feels in this position. Think about your energy levels. Maybe starting to deepen your breath. And really just kind of preparing to move again, so taking some gentle movements into your fingers, your toes. Could enjoy a full body stretch, arms above the head. Might feel nice. And ultimately taking your time to roll to one side and return to a seated position where we began the class. Taking your time here before you kind of rush off anywhere. Maybe enjoy a final moment here, closing your eyes. Just enjoying this opportunity to slow things down again and follow your breath. 
in and out. As you do, just painting a little picture of how you feel right now, physically and mentally. Nice one. Thank you so much for letting me guide you. Hope you enjoyed. Um, feel free to send over any questions if you have any. Uh, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day. Hope you have a really great one. Take it easy. Namaste. Please feel free to check out any of the other videos on my Yoga for Sports page um, or head over to my Instagram at Mr. Collyman for more. See you soon.